Hi and welcome to this quick video looking at class helpers and this also contains an example of a recursive routine which we'll see as we go through. Now have you ever wished you could just add some functionality to an object or component that you just don't have as standard? Well class helpers may just help you out here. Uh, class helpers, you can have one class helper per class and in essence they allow you to write a method that uses the properties of that object and the instance of that object to be able to do additional um, do additional things. So we're going to have a quick look now at a single example where we wanted to extend the base class TFMX object and to loop through all its children and find a specific type of class that belongs to its children objects. Okay, so if we have a look here, we'll start off with the class helper itself. Now to be able to find all the different types um, of a specific class that belong within its children, then I've added a routine here called children count of type. And this literally just loops through each of the children for the object and then if the object is of the type that's been passed in, it increases the result. Now because each child can have children of its own, we then need to recursively call. So we see here we actually call the same method from within the method so it will keep looping all the way through, right the way down each branch of the um, the hierarchy oh, of the of the children objects. Now we've also got a very similar method here um, which is uh, children of type at index so if I want to go and find the second one of a t something that I passed in then I can use this to return back that object. Now the declaration of a class helper is very similar to a class so we have here tfmx object helper and that's basically saying in the name that I want to use it as an object helper for a tfmx object. Um, the name really doesn't matter what you call it um, but here that's my tfmx object helper which is a class helper for and then you define where it helps. So this is a class helper for tfmx object. So what this will do, this will add these methods to the tfmx object. So let's come here. We can see at the moment I've got my uh, my unit added to my uses clause, which then means I can take this instance of an object and I can use um, I can go ahead and use it. And we can see here by compiling that links in. If we remove this uses and then recompile, we can see now it's erroring because it doesn't know within this unit scope about the class helper. So if you want to use a class helper, once you've written it, you then just need to go and add it to the uses clause for the unit of code that you want to use it in, and it will then become available. Simple as that. 